Hello, Brick Dark here. Today I'm reviewing the LEGO Star Wars Duel on Mustafar set, which has two minifigures, 208 pieces, and retails for $20 in the United States. Here's Anakin, and this figure is exclusive for that face print, I'm pretty sure. His one side has the Sith eyes, which look really creepy and really accurately portray him as he looks in the scene. And on the back, he just looks kind of annoyed. Now, this torso print was the cause of a lot of controversy with it appearing in another set. But it makes sense here. You've got the burn marks on there because they actually are on Mustafar. They're nowhere near any fire um, in the Anakin Starfighter and General Grievous Starfighter, which is where those two torso prints reappeared, which is pretty lazy on Lego's part, but for this set, it's a very good figure. Here's Obi-Wan, and you'll notice those burn marks that almost look like bullet holes on Obi-Wan's robes. This exact figure also appeared in General Grievous's Starfighter, which is a big reason why you shouldn't buy that set, among several others. Now, I'm not too keen on the face. They did get some extra detailing with the beard, but I don't know. There's just something about it that doesn't look right. Maybe it's the bags under the eyes, maybe it's the expressions, but something just doesn't look that right to me, personally. But it's still a pretty good figure. So, the set itself is a small playset, like the Duel on Starkiller base from last year. And there's a couple different ways you can display it. You can split it down the middle, and it attaches by clips here, so you can have them fight this way. Or you could have them fight in the more compact Design both have both look pretty good. They use a lot of different colors To get that Mustafa design down and it looks pretty good There is a little play feature on the side where if you push this part It shoots out some orange studs, which is pretty cool. You can have them spout on Obi-Wan or Anakin the main play feature though is these parts. You have this little platform which does have a pretty nice print for the control panel and then you have the droid. You can have Anakin Nobu on fight and it works really well although sometimes this little part does fall off so you're going to want to be careful about that but beyond that it works a lot better than the Duel on Starkiller base from last year. You have a lot more movement and it's Honestly, quite a bit of fun, and I just knocked Anakin over, and so Obi-Wan wins, just like in the scene. There's no high ground, but it's alright, since that since the duel takes place over such a large area that you can't capture all of it in such a small set. You do have this part up top, which you can move if you want it this way. It's up to you, but it looks best in this initial position. You can also have... Anakin and Obi-Wan fight across here, if you so please, though, they'll look best fighting across these little platforms. Not too much else going on here, you do have some nice orange translucent bricks for the lava, as well as some nice fire pieces throughout, but yeah, that's about it for the set. It's very, it looks pretty good, and you can display it from multiple angles, and it still looks really good, which is something that the Starkiller base had going against it, so this is definitely an improvement in that aspect. Box for this is that longer $20 box with the thumb tab on the back. It shows some of the various features of this set. Instructions are pretty interesting where they display the image like this, but you build them vertically. At the back, you do have an ad for the other early 2020 sets, as well as the Skywalker Saga, which has sadly been delayed into 2021. So overall, the Duel on Mustafar is a very nice set. It's displayable from multiple angles, which is something the Starkiller base had a problem with, which I already stated, but this, you can, you can display it from multiple angles and it looks good from all angles. And there's just, it's just, it's basically a better Starkiller base 
Starkiller Base laid down the foundation and then this improved upon it greatly. You can, you have so much more movement with the platforms that you can have the two characters duel on. And then you just have a lot of nice detail throughout. And there's nothing that feels random like the random stud shooter. Everything just works well together. Overall, I'd rate this set an 8.5 out of 10. I highly recommend it if you like episode 3 or if you like this scene. And yeah, that's about it for this video. See you guys later. Peace.